Hey, happy Thursday. This is Feral Fellows, and I wanted to share a miracle that happened for me yesterday. Now, I've seen many, 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 many miracles, big and small, and it was my prayer ever since a child that, you know, I was raised in the church, but I always wanted my life to uh, reflect what I read in the Bible. I wanted to see the things that I was taught. I didn't want to just believe in an invisible God that wasn't amongst us. And I didn't want to just know, know that in the past, you know, hundreds, thousands of years ago, um, God used to do these things. But I wanted to know, does God still heal people? Um, why are people sick? Why are people struggling? Um, does God still deliver people? Are demons real? So even as a child, I always was perplexed by this concept of religion, but not really seeing the things in my real life that reflected what I was taught. And so there was this conflict, this inner conflict, like, God, if you're real, I want to know it. Like, I want it to be real to me and not just religion. So I prayed year for years um, and ultimately in my life um, I've seen so many miracles where there's now no way anybody could ever um, convince me that Jesus Christ is not the one true God and, and so I want everybody to um, to have that same experience and understanding and belief and know that this is not just an ancient book that was written by um, whoever you want to claim wrote it or influenced the Bible. No, this is living and it's real. So yesterday, I, I was daydreaming when I was in church and I was seeing myself like documenting all of the miracles and signs and evidence of, of the presence of God in my life. Um, all of the testimonies that I personally have experienced, all of the blessings, all of the encounters, you know, where um, there was some sort of angelic presence or um, being in the midst of deliverance and healing and freedom for others. And so I was like, I need to write this stuff down because it's happening every day. And it happens so frequently at this point that the incredible stories can get lost in the frequency of them occurring. So I wanted to be a good steward of what God is allowing me to experience. And I wanted to start writing it down. Now I created this YouTube channel for the same reason. I wanted to um, be able to share with other people around the world who may be looking for um, stories of supernatural occurrences um, and people who may be dreamers or have visions but want to learn and have explanations about what is this thing that I'm that I'm going through and so I have the YouTube channel and to be honest I may only document about 1% of the things that happen because there's just simply not enough time in the day but in addition to the YouTube channel I pretty much have prophetic dreams weekly, sometimes multiple times a week. And then I wake up and life is moving so quickly that I don't steward those dreams and write them down um, and interpret them and share them the way that I should. And so I was daydreaming at church about this and I'm just like, I've got to get a big dream journal where I can write um, write my dreams down and then I also saw like a smaller journal where I could document testimonies as they occur and these books would be used for nothing else but just to document miracles and testimonies and so about 10 minutes after I'm daydreaming I get a message on my Facebook from a friend who asked me if I um, if I had a journal it was the ran most random text on, um, on Facebook. She just writes me out the blue and she says, hey, do you have a journal? And I'm like, uh, are you prophetic? Did 
like you live in a different state i haven't talked to you i was literally just sitting here daydreaming about i wish somebody would buy me a journal like in my mind it's not that i can't afford a journal it's just i'm so busy every time i think to do it i just don't ever get it done so i was randomly wishing like i wish somebody would just send me a journal 10 minutes later she sends me a message that says uh, let me see if i can pull it up i don't know if i turn my phone around if you'll be able to see it okay right here she says love you god is downloading so much in you no doubt do you have a journal for it? If not, write these parts down. So that was the confirmation. Ten minutes later, she sends me that message. And I'm like, are you prophetic? This in itself is a miracle because I'm just in my own head thinking to myself, and you are however many hundreds miles away in your own home at 930 at night, and God places me on her heart to send me that message. And then she asked me for my address. And a few hours later, she sends me a message telling me to check my mail because she's sending me a package, um, like a whole experience so I can begin journaling my, you know, these supernatural encounters with God. <laughs> So I wanted to just post this to just let you know that your whole life can become a supernatural experience with God. There's no limit to how intricately God can get into the inner details of your everyday life. Even in your innermost thoughts, even your wishes can become prophetic. Because if you're in tune with God and you're so connected to him, your mind becomes like his mind. So the things that you desire and think about are actually things that he wants for you. So I went to sleep so happy, just like God loves me so much, so much that my one wish, which is something that I could provide for myself, but he loves me so much that he would give me, send somebody from far away to bless me with my innermost desire and at the exact moment that I'm wishing for it so that I can know that he cares about me that just bless me so so much so if you're watching this just know Jesus is the one true God and there is no other God there is no other one. He is the only one. He's all you need. He will supply all of your needs and wants. Just stay connected to him and pursue him. And he will add everything else to you. That's a promise in his word. Have a blessed day. And I'm giving you guys my word. I'm going to begin to steward the experiences that God has given me. And I'm going to share more supernatural encounters, miracle signs, and prophetic experiences with you.